Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. All of a sudden, the vast plains that we all live on is starting to go a bit nuts. Unusual volcanic activity is happening all over the world, but the experts are assuring us that there is nothing to be concerned about. But, could it be possible that they are wrong? After you have reviewed the information that I provide in this video, come to your own conclusion. To me, it definitely appears that what we are currently witnessing is not normal. Right now, volcanic activity is causing a brand new island to emerge from the Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of Japan's Iwo Jima Island. Here's a report from LiveScience.com. A newborn island that recently emerged from the Pacific Ocean after an underwater volcanic eruption is now visible from planes, images from the European Drone Agency reveal. The drone images show the new landmass sitting around 0.6 mile off the coast off Japan's Iwo Jima Island. The submerged volcano began erupting on October 21, with activity ramping up over the next 10 days. By October 30, explosions were taking place every few minutes, according to a translated statement. The eruption threw large lumps of rock into the air and shot a jet of gas and ash over 160 feet almost vertically above the water's surface. Needless to say, a new island is not born very often. I have been warning my viewers about the alarming rise of volcanic activity in our oceans, and this is yet more evidence that something really strange is taking place down there. But when it comes to Japan, there is another volcano that I believe is far more of a threat. Let's keep a very close eye on Mount Fuji in 2024 and beyond, because when it finally blows, it is going to cause death and destruction on an absolutely massive scale. Meanwhile, in Iceland residents of the town of Grindavik are being evacuated because thousands of earthquakes have raised concerns that a volcanic eruption may be imminent. Some residents of the southwestern Iceland town of Grindavik were allowed to briefly return home Sunday to quickly gather essential belongings and pets left behind when evacuations were ordered amid thousands of earthquakes that have rattled the region and raised concerns that a volcanic eruption may be imminent. Iceland's government declared a state of emergency and began the mass evacuation of Grindavik on Friday. Overall, that region has been hit by more than 4,000 earthquakes in recent days, and at least 1,000 of those quakes were actually recorded within the magma tunnel. The Icelandic Met Office, or IMO, has been providing continuous updates on the potential disaster and said that based on observations, there is a significant likelihood of a volcanic eruption in the coming days. More than 4,000 earthquakes have struck the region over the past two days, and the IMO said that since midnight on Sunday, 1,000 earthquakes were recorded within the magma tunnel, or dike, that formed at the end of last week. Here in the United States, Mount St. Helens has been rattled by 400 earthquakes since the middle of July. 400 earthquakes have been recorded under Mount St. Helens since mid-July, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, or USGS. This is the longest series of tremors since the volcano's last eruption ended in 2008. We are being told that magma has been flowing through chambers deep underground as the volcano recharges. Specialized equipment has detected that magma has been flowing through chambers deep underground, causing the volcano to recharge. There are fears the earthquakes could lead to another massive explosion, reminiscent of 1980s eruption that left 57 people dead and permanently altered the area's ecosystem. I do believe that Mount St. Helens will erupt again. But as my regular viewers already know, I am even more concerned about Mount Rainier. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. 
Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. On the other side of the world, seismic activity has been regularly shaking an absolutely massive supervolcano, known as Campi Flegre. It is now the site of multiple volcanoes that have been active for 3,000 years, many of which lie underwater. It's also populated with villas, small villages and shopping malls, and home to 800,000 people, and a hospital under construction. More than 500,000 of the locals live in what Italy's Civil Protection Agency has deemed a red zone, an area encompassing 18 towns that's at highest risk in the event of an eruption. An additional 3 million residents of Naples live immediately outside the eastern edge of the caldera, according to the Civil Protection Agency. The last major eruption of Campi Flegre was in 1538, and it created a new mountain in the bay. Seismic activity in the area has been intensifying since December of 2022, according to Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, or INGV, and experts fear that the volcano could be reawakening after generations at rest. So far this year, Campi Flegre has been hit by more than 3,400 earthquakes, and this has generated quite a bit of alarm. Currently in a state of positive bradyzism, when the ground moves upward, the entire volcanic zone is also experiencing a surge in earthquakes that has rattled nerves and sent residents seeking safety out into the streets. In September, the strongest earthquake in 40 years struck the region, and that 4.2 magnitude quake was followed by one of a similar strength just days later. So far in 2023, Campi Flegre has recorded more than 3,450 earthquakes, 1,118 of which occurred in August alone. This is more than triple the previous year's total, according to INGV's data. More than 500 earthquakes occurred in October, the strongest of which hit 4.0 magnitude, followed by a dozen aftershocks. All of this seismic activity has been happening at a time when the sun has been extremely hot. It is said that a large coronal mass ejection that was just unleashed hit us this weekend. That's because the sun has unleashed an enormous coronal mass ejection, or CME, which is set to hit the Earth this weekend, sparking a geomagnetic storm between Saturday and Sunday. This will fling charged particles into our planet, which will interact with oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere to emit green and red colors over our poles. The Met Office's space weather arm said, Aurora Borealis would likely be visible across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and even as far south as central England and Wales, if skies are clear. Scientific experts will continue to tell you these tales, and may not actually know what is really going on. And people like me, are going to just keep telling you, that cataclysmic times are now upon us. So, who is right, and who is wrong? As is the case with so many other things, time will reveal the truth. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.